Hello, thank you for joining me. I have just arrived at this farm near Beaconsfield in my Larder Reaver. There's something rather unusual up at this farm. What happened? A couple of weeks ago, I was out for a walk, um, walking along the footpath, and I spotted something rather unusual. I put it on um, a couple of social media sites. Um, the internet went a bit mad over it, and um, the farmer very kindly got in touch with me and invited me to come and have a closer look. So here we are, a farm in Beaconsfield. Come here to see an old district line carriage. So we'll go in and um, if you said we can go in and have a look. Well, I'll show you the outside first. So look at that. So this vehicle, um, it's here to be restored. It's gonna be part of a glamping project. Um, so eventually you'll, you'll actually be able to come and stay here. It does need a lot of work um, from where it's been previously. It's, um, you know, it hasn't been as well looked after as perhaps, you know, it will be in the future. It's number 21147. Um, let's go and have a look inside. So it's been around at various places. Um, it did spend a bit of time at Walthamstow Pump House Museum, which is worth a visit. If you want to see that video, have a look at the link on the screen now. Um, but let's have a look in, what you can see inside there. Well, let's go up the ladder and have a look inside. I'll tell you what, before we go inside, one other thing I'll point out is it's currently on a road trailer, not on um, railway wheels on bogies. The reason that is, I've been told, it was used by London Transport. So London Transport put it onto this trailer and it was used um, for training and they could move it around by road to various places. But anyway, I'm sure you want to see inside and so do I, so let's go and have a look see what we can see. Exciting, very, very um, vintage of the period. So here we are. Uh, I never thought I'd ever go in an R stock carriage. I know there are some around, but here we are in Beaconsfield in Buckinghamshire in an R stock carriage. Um, as I said, it is a waiting restoration, so the owner is going to restore it all, make it all look nice, and as I said, it'll be a glamping project. You'll actually be able to come and camp in here, or, or glamp rather, spend a night in here. I can't think of anything more exciting than spending the night in a tube carriage. So um, I'm, I'm going to have to um, possibly come back when it's open, but let's just have a look and let's just imagine, you know, we're down on the district line. You know, we could have been departing um, South Kensington. It could be a really busy train. Um, if it was now, we have to have a mask on, but you know, um, pre-pandemic days, a busy train. I do remember these when I was little on some tube trains, then they replaced them with more grab handles, but I do remember these used to hold on to, so yeah, imagine we're rattling down the district line, um, be, be different to this. So here you've got the seats um, facing inwards, and then here you've got, I always, when the D-stock trains were still running, I always would go for these seats, because I used to like, I preferred sitting so, you know, I could look out the window. Um, so whenever I go on a Metropolitan S-Stock train, which still have some seats that face um, the way the train's going, I'll always do that and I'll sit there and look out the window. Because the problem with me is whenever I sit on a seat like this, I'm always sat down with my head right round like that trying to see out the window. Um, but that really is the sort of view I would never thought I'd see from a tube train. The view across the rural Buckinghamshire countryside of a farm. Um, just something to show you down here if you're wondering how old the vehicle is. I appreciate it's upside down, but look at that. It does say 1949 Metro Camel. I know it's probably hard to see on camera. What I'll do, I'll take a picture and I'll insert it now. So there you are. I hope you saw that a bit better. So, yeah, here's the very uh, heart of this um, really impressive. London Underground carriage. There's only three three R stock carriages left, I believe. Um, there's other similar ones around. So I think it's um, there's one at Quaint, and it's not an R stock one, but it's very similar to this. So there's three carriages there. Um, there was another one. I said they spent a short time at the Walthamstow Pump House Museum. The other one, which was more known to be there, that I believe is now at Whitewell and Reapham Station up in Norfolk, another place I'd like to visit, along with their miniature railway. Anyway, let's go and have a look now. Um, 
So yeah, this will take us into the driver's cab. As I said, it is all awaiting restoration. I assume in there that would have been um, there's a light. Whether that's where they put you know what was on the front of the train where the train was going. So the driver would have stu stood or sat here, had the forward view. There's all the buttons there for the doors and everything. And that, I think that up here, that is a motor for the um, the driver's windscreen wiper. So yeah, it really is. Um, I'm just really excited to be here. It, in in the current state it's in, the owners bought it. In need of restoration he's going to restore it and you know I've yes it's probably never going to run on the train again on the railways again but you know it's, it's found a new lease of life which I think is really nice um, and look at there it's got these cushions on but that's probably the original moquette there underneath the cushion which is um, quite a nice thing so a bit more about the farm I believe the owner's plan is as I said this will be a glamping carriage there'll be a few other um, glamping vi vehicles um, around um i'm not sure possibly that caravan out there is going to be one of them but various other vehicles and little buildings i think it will be as i said i really do think it'll be a really nice thing to come come and see when it's all done so um oh, look, there's even some maps we'll just see the remains of maps have a look at that so um that's interesting it's got Docklands like railway so the Docklands Light Railway, I believe, opened, was it 1987? It was late 80s. So was this still running when the Docklands Light Railway opened? I'm not sure. Or has a newer map been put up inside? Anyone watching, I'm sure there is someone out there watching who knows more than I do. Please do comment and tell, you, tell me. Obstructing the doors can cause delays and be dangerous. I don't think I need to worry about any delays because um, it's been sat here for a while. Um, also, another thing that seems unusual to see on the underground is the window is actually open. I'm not going to try and open it, but see it says pull to open ventilator, pull down handle. Interesting they call it a ventilator rather than, well, I suppose the ventilator is the opening part of the window. So I'm just letting you have a look now really at the, um, at the carriage itself. Not sure what that is. Maybe that's some sort of emergency. Um, you know, like you get the communication cord. Maybe you could pull that in emergency. I'm, I'm not sure. Again, if you know more, do comment and tell me. It's almost got. I like the slight clear story of the roof. Um, oh look, here we are. Here's a, an older map. Now this is a, a district line map. I can just see Upminster up there. You can see uh, Monument, Cannon Street, uh, Blackfriars. Um, that would be um, embankment, so it says British Rail at Charing Cross. The rest of the map's quite faded. Um, but yeah, I, ju I just think, this, I'm just really excited to be here. I think this is great, and I, I know I've said it a couple of times, I'm really looking forward to seeing this project progress. I think um, now, though, it's time for me to jump back in the larder and... Um, go home and perhaps we'll come here again in the future once restoration's complete and um, well see see what happens oh look there's something else that's another thing to have a look at more switches lights heaters etc there's probably would have been a fire extinguisher here there's a pressure gauge there and that looks like another communication cord up there so, I hope you enjoyed this video from this district line carriage. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. And from the London Underground in deepest Buckinghamshire, goodbye.